I was looping through my different crypto charts and I noticed a few things about Celestia that made me a little concerned for Celestia holders. So I wanted to make a video and just let you know what I'm seeing that concerns me. So first off, they just had a major unlock event yesterday that will lead to them ultimately unlocking 44% of their circulating supply. And you can see here the release schedule. So it is over a lengthy period of time, but it is something that you should be aware of because now there are a lot of different allocations between their R&D ecosystem, early backers that can now sell their Celestia coins. So there's that. And then with my FIB drawn up here on the daily chart, you can see that this 786 line has really been tough resistance for us to get over. So looking at it zoomed out here, it's kind of like until we bust past $6.40 range over the 786 line, then I don't really see how it can be considered bullish. So there's that. Uh, also, I've had this trend line drawn here that was marking the last low we had here in early September, and we've now broken through that. So that is another bearish signal. And if you look at the formation that we have here, allow me to drag over my pattern reference table here, you'll see that this is considered to be I mean, either a bearish pennant or a bearish rising wedge. I would say rising wedge. And in both cases, you can see that that typically leads to downside. And that's actually what's happening here that could potentially lead to further downside. So I'm a big crypto bull. I don't like doing bearish videos, so don't hate me for that. Just anytime I see something that is alarming to me, I like to throw it out there just to make all of you aware of what I'm seeing. One more thing I just thought of, this downside pattern does actually align with what we could see with Bitcoin and potentially the entire crypto market post election day. So for those of you who have not watched my channel recently, this blue pattern here is a copy of 2019 all the way up into the top of the 2021 bull run. And I've overlaid it on top of Bitcoin's chart here. And I think I added it like in here and it's actually did a pretty good job of following this pattern. So I kind of was looking at it like, is this a predictive pattern on what could potentially happen with Bitcoin and the crypto market? And what's interesting is when we have the COVID dip here, this is like right in the beginning of 2020, that's right after election day. So it's really strange to me that this predictive pattern I have on here happens to align with a post-election flush, which I think could easily happen depending on which way the election goes. So I've said a lot of negative stuff. If you're still listening, I will leave you with a little bit of hopium and one positive comment. I have been thinking lately that with this 2019 to 2021 overlay, if COVID did not happen, what would have happened with this pattern? Would we have just went straight up and skipped all this downside? I don't know. So that's another variable out there too. No matter what, I think that many would agree post-election day is going to be a major inflection point to the downside or to the upside. Ultimately, I do think that we're going to have a, another huge bull run. I just don't know when exactly it's going to start. Based on this, it's going to start at the beginning of 2025. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for watching the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.